our next step will be to write code that will allow this main function to actually perform a task. The first thing we need are some variables. And I will begin by writing a comment that will tell me or tell the reader of this program what the next line of code is doing. That is, I'm defining my variables. In chapter two, we will discuss in more detail what variables are and the rules for naming them. At this point, I'm simply going to include some variables so that we can have a program to perform a task. I will explain variables in more detail in chapter two. The line of code float num1 followed by a semicolon will declare a variable called num1. I will also declare a variable called num2. Notice that each of these lines end in a semicolon. The instruction to declare a variable is considered a statement, which is simply a C instruction that can be executed or processed by the computer. All C statements must end with a semicolon. Just be aware that not all lines of code are considered statements. Although not necessary, notice that my variables, num1 and num2, have been entered as lowercase. I could have used upper or lowercase or a mixture, but again, you want to be consistent more than anything else in the C language, since everything is case sensitive. My next step will be to write code that will allow data to be entered for the variables, as my comment says. To do so, I will need to use two objects of the IO stream, and that is Cout and Cin. The Cout statement will display something to the user. The line of code Cout, enter a value for the first variable, will serve as a prompt for the user to enter data. The symbols that are now highlighted are known as insertion operators. Insertion operators are used with the CL statement, which and is an important part of the syntax. This is cumbersome at first, but the more you work with the C language, the more easily this will be accepted. In this line of code, the insertion operator sends the message, enter a value for the first variable to the computer screen. Keep in mind, this statement only displays the message on the screen. The statement does not pause the program to allow the user to actually enter the number. You will need to use the input stream, CN, to do so. So let's enter that next. So I'll go to the next line and type CN, and then use the opposite symbols, which is known as the extraction operator. You may want to think of the extraction operator as meaning to get from. That is, to get from the user something from the keyboard. Here is, here is where I will use my variable num1, followed by a semicolon. Notice that the, both the cout and cn statements end in semicolons. I will need to do likewise for the second variable, and then include a cn statement similar to the first. Now I've created lines of code which will prompt the user to enter data and then for that data to be accepted into the variables called num1 and num2. As the comment I've just written says, my next task is to add the two numbers together. To do so, I will need a third variable created to hold the contents of the addition of num1 and num2. So when you find this to be the case, you simply need to go back up to my defined variable section and create a variable such as total and then return to the spot in the program to, and write the line of code that will simply say total equals num1 plus num2, followed by a semicolon. This line of code now will take the contents of num1 and the contents of num2 and store it into the variable called total. Don't be overly, overly concerned about the meaning of the word float at this point. As I said earlier, I will discuss this in more detail in the next chapter. Next task will be to display the result of our calculation. To do so, we will need to use the Cout statement, since we want something directed to the screen, use the insertion operator, and inside of quotation marks, display a message such as the sum of the numbers equals close quotes, and then I need to use 
the insertion operator once more to separate the items of the C out statement and then display the word total or type the word total but notice I do not use the word to uh, put the word total in qu quotation marks if I did then I would get the word total as opposed to the sum of the numbers finish this line with a semicolon and our program is almost done the last thing we need is to make sure that we have our closing brace and since I inserted some space you can now see let me close this output window so you can see the whole screen whole program on the screen as you can see we have our comments our compiler directive our main function which will allow variables to be declared allow the user to enter data into those variables perform a simple operation and then to display the results of our program our next step will be to compile this program to see if it actually works we will do that in the next segment